So our topic is about introduction to electronic communication systems. So basically, what is communication? Generic term yan, ano? Communication is the process of exchanging information and people communicate to convey their thoughts, ideas, and feelings to others. So kung isipin mo guys, when you say communications, ano-ano yung essential components niya? When you say communications, of course, if I'm the speaker, dapat merong makikinig. I'm the speaker, there is an audience. In other words, I will be the transmitter and there will be a receiver. So that's the two basic. Pero kulang yon, kasi yung mismong message no? that is also the part. Uh, that is also part of uh, communications. Without the message, there is no communication. So there must be a transmitter, there must be the receiver, and there is the message. Okay? And meron pang isa, medium. The medium is otherwise known as channel. Okay? There are infinite way of communicating. So, di ba, nung bata tayo, yung, yung lata, di ba? Lalagyan natin ng uh, sinulid. Parang yun yung telepono, tapos parapakinggan natin because... Basically, ang medium natin doon, yung solid material, yung PC, because sound can travel through solid. But, of course, if we're going to use free space, for example, uh, I'm talking to somebody, malapit siya, narinig niya ako. But if I'm going to speak, and yung kausap ko is mga 100 meters away, hindi na niya maririnig, di ba? So, kahit, sab kahit ano pang sabihin ko, hanggat uh, hindi ko nilalakasan ng boses ko, hindi rin niya maririnig. Useless. Bakit gano'n? Bakit uh, merong parang balakid? Ang tawag natin doon, guys, is attenuation. So, pagka nagsalita ka, yung boses natin, habang lumalayo na lumalayo yung receiver, yung free space is subject to tinatawag na loss. In communication systems, is called FSL, or free space loss. So, nangyayari, uh, yung boses natin attenuates in free space. That is in the nature, even in solids, no? Kunyari, uh, in existing telephone lines, pagka meron na kanong perong nagsalita, yung mismong coaxial cable na ginagamit or twisted pair na ginagamit, meron niyang subjected uh, attenuation rate. Yung attenuation rate na yun is meron ng specific distance. Before, nung wala bang fiber optics, uh, coaxial cable or UTP, UTP means unshielded twisted pair, ang for every 5 kilometers, naglalagay ng tinatawag na amplifier. So, we need to amplify the voice para tumuloy yung mga long-distance communication sa tinatawag. So, maraming, ano, maraming uh, balakid but the main uh, hindrance to communications is attenuation and yung minensyon natin kanina, noise. Noise is different from attenuation. Attenuation is nature. Nature siya. Yung noise, pwedeng internal, pwedeng external. For example, habang nagsasalita ka, meron pa ibang nagsasalita. Diba? So, hindi na siya natural. Meron lang parang something na artificial na uh, nagkikreate na interference. So that's also a form of noise interference. The price of communication is inherent to all human life and includes verbal, non-verbal, or body language, print, news media, and electronic processes. So, the process of communications begins with the human uh, generating some kind of message or data, pwedeng keyboard type. Uh, basically, this is a, a form of intelligence. In electronics communication systems, the message is referred to as the information or an intelligence signal. Okay, so the information itself is the message. Okay. So, pag wag yung paghahaluin yung dalawa, no? data versus information. Data is just number or uh, symbol. Pero kung information is how you interpret the number or the symbol. For example, uh, in a traffic light uh, system, di ba, meron tayong red, yellow, and uh, red, orange, and green. Colors lang yun, yun yung data. How we interpret these colors, yun yung information. Red means stop, uh, orange means standby, and green means go. So that's uh, the difference. Information is different from data. So this is the basic block diagram, communication system. So this is the information. It can be audio, video, computer data. We have the transmitter and the channel. This can be uh, wired or wireless, fiber optic, free space, and the receiver. And of course, uh, itong part na to, ito yung interpretation mo na. For example, this is your ear listening to a 
uh, your favorite uh, FM station, pwedeng DJ, nagsasalita. So, ano yung sinabi ni DJ, yun yung interpretation mo, information. And noise is present, actually, the, the noise is present in all. No? E pwedeng dun sa nagdi-deliver pa lang, may noise na eh. Medyo ngongo kunyari yung, ano, yung uh, nagsasalita. No? Kinakaya niya yung sinasabi niya. So, there is already noise in uh, how he uh, speaks. Okay? Pero ang pinakamalaking noise na present is nandun dun sa channel. Okay? Nadya dyan yung uh, pinakamalaking part or tinatawag na cloud of noise. Bukod sa attenuation, mayroon ding noise and uh, it's really a struggle, uh, especially in a very noisy environment, how the transmitter can be uh, received no? because of this noise. So, sobrang ganda ng, uh, sobrang galing ng mga engineers natin when that handles communication systems. Even satellite uh, na noong araw pa pinalipad, is nakakadala pa ng ano no ng mga pictures i think uh, voyager uh, voyager satellite yung isa sa mga unang pinadala is lumagpas siya ng pluto but still it can still communicate with the earth isipin niyo gaano nakalayo yon no ganun kalaki yung attenuation niya na tapos uh, yung power niya is uh, already beyond masyado nang dim yung sun pero yung solar panel niya can still uh, is in still able to run, no? Such that it can still uh, send pictures, no? Pabunta sa Earth. So, ganun kagagaling yung mga engineers na gumawa, no? Siya, sabi nila German technology daw yung because when World War II uh, was over, most of the scientists went to the U.S. and they are the ones who started with the Apollo mission ng U.S. So, yun. Yeah, that's just a little bit of history. Okay? So, noise is the general term applied to any phenomenon that degrades or interferes with the transmitted information. So, basically, this is uh, interference. Uh, degrading has something to do with uh, uh, attenuation, but it, it will also, if there is noise present, it will also degrade the information. Okay, transmitter. Transmitter is a collection of electronic components and circuits designed to convert the electrical signal to a signal suitable for transmission over a given communication medium. Transmitters are made up of uh, oscillators, amplifiers, tuned circuits and filters, modulators, frequency mixers, frequency synthesizers, and other circuits. So, yeah, dyan papasok yung electronic systems. The original intelligence signal usually modulates a higher frequency carrier sine wave generated by the transmitter. So, dyan, pumasok yung salitang modulation. Okay? So, pag sinabi kasi modulation, that means there is a modulator. So, isipin ninyo yung black diagram na yun, modulator, meron dalawang signal na pumapasok. Isa yung information, which is a low frequency signal, and meron tayong high frequency signal known as the carrier. So, the information is being carried. Kaya nga tinatawag niya carrier. So, pag, pag naghalo yung dalawang signal na yon paglabas, is modulated wave na ang tawag. Okay? So, ulitin natin ha. A modulator has two inputs. The information, which is lower frequency. And a carrier, which is high frequency. Wala siyang, ano, wala siyang information na dala. Basta tagadala lang siya. Example, yung voice natin. By the way, ang voice frequency is 300 hertz to 3000 hertz. Yung carrier, mas mataas. Ang pinaka ginagamit na carrier for radio, yung mga amateur radio, is nasa megahertz yun, 30 megahertz, 10 megahertz and above. Uh, that's called the carrier signal. So yung uh, AM broadcast, nasa na yan? Medium frequency na tinatawag or around, uh, for example, DC double B, sabi si, ang DC double B, 5, 9, 4. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng 5 nyo, ibig 4, that's 594 kilohertz. Pagdating naman sa FM, example, uh, our favorite, uh, my favorite uh, FM station is 96.3 WRA. Ano yung 96.3? That's 96.3 megahertz. Yan. So these are just two examples. 594 kilohertz for AM, sumasakay dun yung voice or music and papadala ngayon sa air. The high frequency carrier signal is the oscillator. Yan yun. And then i-amplify, and then uh, dadaan sa modulator, and then papadala through antenna. So yan, papasok ibang circuits dun sa mismong transmitter. Okay? 
So when you say channel, communication channel, ito yung dinadaanan. The medium by which the electronic signal is sent from one place to another. So the diff different mediums include the following. Electrical conductors, or these are copper uh, materials that is in the form of pair of wires. Twisted pair, or yung UTP na tinatawag. U there means unshielded. Okay, so makikita niya sa telepono na nakatwist siya. So, twisted pair. And coaxial cables, which are very common in uh, TV broadcast, just like uh, what you 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 have at home. Uh, yung nagko-connect sa cable, it's called coaxial cable. And yung mga ano naman, yung mga antenna, free space antenna, it also use coaxial cable papunta dun sa likod ng TV. Then optical media, ito naman ang ginagamit na carrier. So yung term na carrier sa optical media is light or uh, light waves. Take note that uh, we have two types of uh, signals based on frequency. Yung tinatawag na audio frequency at saka tinatawag na radio frequency. Audio frequency is the one that we created, no? Yung music, speech, yan. Ang radio frequency, yan yung carrier. So kaya pag sinabi mong carrier, it is also synonymous or analogous to RF. Carrier is the same as RF. And light, light waves, yung data or voice, voice is being converted into a digital signal, dadaan ng analog to digital signal, and it will ride light waves. Kaya ang ginagamit na doon is fiber optics. Specifically, anong klaseng light wave? Kasi when you say light waves, uh, these are uh, basically in the uh, colored regions. Pag sinabing colored region, uh, red to violet. Pero typical ang ginagamit is yung tinatawag na infrared. By the way, when it comes to light waves, ang ginagamit sa fiber optics is infrared hanggang sa red. Kasi uh, meron tayong formula for wavelength. Eh. Pag sinabing wavelength, it's C over F or uh, the speed of light divided by frequency. So ibig sabihin, ang, since ang frequency natin nasa denominator, the shorter frequency or the lower the frequency, the longer the wavelength. So baliktad pa natin yun. So ibig sabihin, yung red, mababa frequency, longer siya. Tapos yung uh, violet naman, mataas ang frequency, shorter siya. Longer wavelength, pero shorter frequency, that's red. Uh, shorter, uh, higher frequency, pero shorter wavelength, that's violet. Kaya meron tayong infrared at ultraviolet. So yan. That's the, for the fiber optic cables. And for free space, this is also known as wireless communications. So when it comes to receivers, basically ito yung taga kolekta ng data or uh, modulated signal and then tatanggalin niya yung high frequency. So these are collection of electronic components and circuits that accepts the transmitted message from the channel. So pag natanggap niya, sabi natin modulated pa, di ba? So ang tawag natin doon sa process na yun is demodulation naman. So ide-demodulate niya, ibig sabihin tatanggalin niya high frequency such that papayagan lang niya pumasok sa ating mga speakers or headphones is the information itself. Yan. It converts the received message back to a form understandable by humans because our ears, take note, no, our ears cannot uh, handle RF. Ang kaya lang ng mga tayong natin is yung audio frequency. Our, our ears can only accept probably hanggang 20 kilohertz. Ganun lang. Kung audio, audio frequency or voice frequency is 300 hertz to 3000 hertz. Your, your ears can even ano, uh, go beyond uh, 3,000 hertz. Kaya ang, ang specific definition ng audio frequency, no? kung ma, nababasa nyo yung mga specs ng mga earphones ninyo, audio frequency for the system to be hi-fi, ibig sabihin ng hi-fi is high fidelity, it can respond from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Tandaan nyo yan ha? Ang voice frequency is 300 hertz to 3000 hertz. And it is inside audio frequency. Audio frequency is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz or 20,000 hertz. If we're going to put signal generator, signal gen sa speaker, hindi natin adjust yung frequency. Mararamdaman nyo, mapapakinggan nyo yung sounds. Nasa sa pag tinatas natin yung frequency, yung tayo nga ninyo naririnig hanggang sa parang nagfe-fade. Kasi ang tayo natin hanggang 20 kilohertz lang. Pagka marami pa yung bara, <laughs> eh baka hanggang 5 kilohertz lang. No? 
uh, yung mga bingi kasi, yung mga matatanda na naapektuhan na, na yung pandinig nila, kaya lang nilang marin makinig hanggang probably 5 or 3 kilohertz lang. Okay, so pagka mataas masyado yung frequency, ang sakit na sa tenga nun. Uh, beyond 20 kilohertz, ang tawag natin doon guys is ultrasonic. The dogs can hear up to 40 kilohertz. Pero sobrang sakit na sa tenga nun. Kaya parang umara yung mga aso. Sabi nila supernatural frequency daw yun. Yung tinatawag na ultrasonic frequency. It's the frequency beyond 20 kilohertz, specifically 20 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. Yun yung tinatawag na ultrasonic frequency. Okay, so transceivers. Ano naman yung transceivers? This is the mixture of transmitter and receiver. In satellite systems, this is called transponders. Pareho yun, ha? Transceiver because it is a system capable to transmit and receive. Okay, so two ways siya. Pero uh, isang module lang siya, but take note that inside that module, meron pa rin dalawang separate siya, transmit and receive. So most common equipment incorporates this. Bibihira yung ano, transmitter lang at receiver lang. Example ng transmitter ng receiver lang, yung TV, no? Uh, example, sa ng TV broadcast, wala ka magagawa kung hindi mag-deliver lang sa'yo, hindi ka naman pwede magsalita sa harap ng TV, eh maririnig ka ni Noli de Castro, no? So it's a, it's a one-way communication. So, meron lang magsisend and meron lang mag-receive. Pero halos lahat ng communication system is merong uh, transceiver, transmitter and receiver. Okay? Attenuation. So we already mentioned this. This basically degradation, which is inevitable, no matter what the medium of transmission. This greatly reduces the signal amplitudes as the signal travels over long distances. Thus, considerable amplification is required for successful transmission. So, yun yung sinasabi natin, ano? attenuation is nag exist yan. Kaya, importante na in the course of transmitting the channel, kailangan natin ng amplifiers, which is uh, an example I mentioned to you a while ago, na meron ng certain distances na naglalagay ito ng amplifiers. So when it comes to communications, basically, guys, we have three types of three modes of communications. Yung tinatawag na simplex, half duplex, at saka full duplex. Meron pa pang apat yung tinatawag na full full duplex. Uh, let's see if I can discuss it later. So pag sinabi simplex, is only one way, just like TV uh, broadcast. Uh, the transmitter is in the sabi natin ABS TV or GMA. It transmits du during uh, uh, regular hours of broadcast. And uh, it is received by your antenna, and it is only one way, giving information lang sila. That's called simplex communication. Now, when you say half duplex, so meron tayo rito tinatawag na two separate circuits, meron transmitter and receiver. Kaya sinabing half duplex kasi pag, si isa, pag ikaw ay nagtatransmit, hindi pwede magsalita yung, yung kabila. Okay. Pag, pinin, pag sabay kayo ng salita, walang magkakarinigan. Example, uh, yung two-way radio, kung nag-ARC kayo, no? pag sabay kayo ng salita ng pusto to, hindi kayo magkakarinigan. Dapat yung isa naka-unpressed. So pag nagsalita yung isa, makikinig lang. And then, oh, sige, time for me to talk. Ikaw naman yung magpe-press, and then siya yung mag -re receive That's called half-duplex. Okay? So, pagka pwede mong gawin yan sabay, it's now called full duplex, like in the telephone. And the actual telephone uh, line that we're using, it's now full duplex because kahit sabay ka magsalita, sabay mo rin maririnig, okay lang yan. So, this is a full duplex. Now, yung sinasabi ko kanina na full, full duplex, uh, example yan is uh, yung ano, sa internet, yung webcasting. Isa yung nagsasalita and then maraming... Uh, uh, pwedeng mag-join or mag-chat. So, video conferencing, that's uh, one source and many receiver, but they can do it. Okay? They can do the transmission and rece reception at the same time. It's uh, called full, full duplex. VLF means uh, very low frequency. LF means uh, low frequency, then we have medium frequency, high frequency, very high frequency, ultra high frequency, super high frequency, and extremely high frequency. So these are the different bands.